The last part of the video today is incorporating Chi Sao, otherwise known as Sticky Hands within the Wing Chun curriculum. We will be showing three different drills to develop your hands, sensitivity, reflexes, and timing, and then we'll lead into the so-called Kumite hands only of Chi Sao. The first one for Chi Sao is a sticky hand principle. In this drill, it is recommended that you keep one hand behind your back and the other hand is lightly touching your partner's hand as if they're both in Tan Sao. You start the drill with one person, person B, trying to strike either either side of my head or my stomach, and all I'm doing is trying to stick to his hand. Nothing other than just trying to stick to the hand and trying to feel your person's energy. In this position, if you feel you're pushing, your partner is pushing one way, then you flow around water hitting the rock to come around and strike. If you feel their hand is not moving at all and somewhat limp, then you still come forward to strike. Once you've done one person, then you go to the other person, and he is now beginning to try to stick. Notice what is considered no or incorrect is grasping the hand, grabbing the hand, or pulling your hand all the way off and then trying to strike. You need to try to stick around and score, moving the hands at all times. This is the sticky hand principle. The next principle is the tapping principle. And this principle coming from the Wu Sao hand, developing the speed and the quickness of simply trying to tap and pull back faster than the tap itself. And pulling back. So it's as if it can be a decoy or it can be a strike. Either a decoy or a strike. Whether it be one tap or two taps. and pulling back. Working on the tapping drill, pulling back. Wu Sao hand or the Man Sao hand, tapping drill. The third drill is the flowing with the blocking hand. This should be done at half speed, working on slow movements to develop your irrational movements. Person B will continually move their hands in a very soft position Person A is just using the hands to block with whatever's coming. As if you can move, circle the body. Notice we're just blocking whatever happens. Then you'll reverse the rolls. Person A will do the attack, coming slow. To develop the sensitivity and the blocking. From here, you will now put all three of those together to come up with the Chi Sao. It's recommended in the beginning, both people are in left stance or both people in right stance. From this position, both in left stance, you use the principle of the tapping hand, you use the principle of the sticky hand, and you use the principle of the blocking and flowing hand to now combine all three into our non-traditional Chi Sao. We will now give an example at half speed where either one can attack without knowing who's attacking. Half speed. Now to put a little bit more speed to it, advanced levels can not only change positions, right foot in front, left foot in front, but also can change hand positions. Try to keep your hands almost within fingertip positions at all times, as opposed to coming out of the frame, out of the picture, and not seeing the technique coming. Try to remain relaxed in the shoulders. Try to keep your eyes open at all times. Try to see if you can set your partner up by knowing what he or she may be doing as if you can use your eyes, your feet, expression with your head, and then flow. We'll now demonstrate again. <laughs> 